In this figure, we have a quadrilateral ABCD and AB is parallel to CD. We write it as AB is parallel to CD and AD and BC are non-parallel sides. This pair of sides AD and BC is non-parallel. AD and BC, this is, these are non-parallel sides. Okay, so if in a quadrilateral, one pair of opposite sides are parallel and another pair of opposite sides are non-parallel, that quadrilateral is a trapezium. It's a quadrilateral because it has four sides. It's trapezium because it has only one pair of opposite sides and another pair of opposite, it has one pair of parallel opposite sides and another pair is non-parallel. That makes it trapezium, okay? In this figure, A, tell me whether this is a trapezium or not. Yes, this is a trapezium because this pair of opposite sides is parallel. This is a parallel pair. But if you look at this pair, these two opposite sides are not parallel to each other. Therefore, this is a trapezium. In this figure, again, you have a quadrilateral because it has four sides. And this pair of opposite sides is parallel. But this pair of opposite sides is not parallel. That makes it a trapezium. Tell about this one. In this figure, you have this pair of opposite sides parallel, but it is not a quadrilateral. Okay, so it is not quadrilateral because it has five sides one side, two side, three side, four side, and fifth side. So this is not a trapezium because it's not a quadrilateral in itself. Now comes the number of kite. What is kite? As you can see here, this is of the shape of kite. It, it's of the shape of kite. Now, any quadrilateral, kite is also a quadrilateral. It's also a quadrilateral. But it's a special quadrilateral, just as trapezium was is a special quadrilateral in the same way, kite is also a special quadrilateral. And in the sense that if you look at this pair, that is AD and this AB, okay, these are consecutive sides. These are consecutive sides. So AD and AB, these are consecutive sides such that AD the side AD is equal to the side AB. That is, this pair of consecutive sides is equal to each other. There's another pair that is the side CD and side CB. These are also consecutive sides. Such that side CD is equal to side C, B, right? So there is one pair of consecutive sides that is equal to each other. And then there is another pair of consecutive sides that is equal to each other. So you can see here, this is equal to this and this is equal to this. Whenever a quadrilateral satisfies such condition, you say that it is a kite, okay? If you look at this figure, these figures, so if this is A, tell me whether this figure A is a kite or not. First check whether it has four sides or not because that tells whether the figure is quadrilateral or not. Yes, this is a quadrilateral. Now this is, let's name it A, B, C and D. If you look at this figure, this AD side and AB side side, these two sides are form a pair of consecutive sides and are equal to each other. Then if you look at this 
this mark, that is this single mark tells that this is equal to each other and this double mark on this line segment and double mark on this side or line segment tells that these are equal to each other. So this is another pair of consecutive sides and it is this pair is equal to each other, the sides are equal to each other. Okay, this pair is of equal length. Therefore, this is a kite. In this figure, again, let's name the vertices. Let this be A, B, C and D. So this single mark tells that AB is equal to AD and these are, this forms a pair of consecutive sides and this pair is of equal length. So in the same way, this CB side and CD side is marked with double lines. It tells that these two sides are equal to each other and this is pair of consecutive sides. Yes, this is also a kite. Same thing here. This pair is equal in length and this pair of consecutive sides is equal in length. That makes it a kite. Now comes the number of rhombus. A rhombus is a type of quadrilateral, is a type of quadrilateral, meaning it has four sides, such that the opposite sides are parallel. If we name it like A, B, C, and D, so the side AB is parallel to side CD and side BC is parallel to side AD. Okay, so the opposite sides are parallel to each other, but there is one more important property of this rhombus that is all the sides are actually equal to each other. All the four sides are equal to each other. That is side AB is equal to side BC is equal to side CD is equal to side AD. So if a quadrilateral satisfies these two conditions, that is, this is the first one, that is the opposite sides are parallel to each other and the second is that all the sides are equal to each other. If these two properties get satisfied, then that is actually a quadrilateral. Uh, that quadrilateral is actually a rhombus. But here is one more important thing. And the important thing is that rhombus, rhombus is a spatial is a special kind of kite. It's a special kind of kite. And why? Because if you look here, the kite is a quadrilateral in which there are two distinct pairs of consecutive sides which are equal in length. Right? So this pair of consecutive sides is, is equal in length and this pair of consecutive sides is equal in length. That makes it, that quadrilateral, a kite. In the same way, if you look here, if we say that even if all the sides are equal, but if you look at this figure in a way that this pair of consecutive sides is equal and this pair of consecutive sides is equal. I'm again repeating, though all the four sides are equal, but if you look at this figure in a way that if you look at this pair of consecutive sides of equal length and look at this pair of consecutive sides of equal length, then it is that makes this rhombus a special kind of uh, kite. 